So we're now joined by Igor. Thanks for joining us for our pre cup final special. And Jonathan, the kit manager and an LC Lum supporter and um, lifelong supporter, I think. Igor, we're just going to talk a little bit about the cup final. Before we do, just to touch on um, your particular season this season. You started off uh, with some injuries, you got some suspensions. Your momentum took a little bit more time to get going the season, and you came up with a couple of hat tricks, and you just started to get the goal scoring uh, back again. How are you feeling going into the cup final? I mean, when you're mentioning injuries, I mean, it's the part of every football player career, you know? I mean, it's not nice to have injury, especially in the beginning of the season, you know? But still, you must get over that, you know, and continue with good fit, you know, and get back in the game. So I managed to do that. I managed, I start slowly, I score a few goals in a lot of matches and then I raise my level higher so now I'm in the good uh, how can I say in good level I'm satisfied how I play and I hope the last game of the season will be su successful for me I mean no need even for me to score how much is important for me and my team to win this game absolutely you um, do, do you feel now that um, going into the cup final your fitness levels are good and you know you you obviously got confidence now because yes. you're scoring on a, a exactly level. exactly i feel very confident you know even if because we are playing against team who beat us many many times i must admit in the last few years you know we play against excellent team with excellent con condition with a well organized club you know but still you know we are a group of guys who respect each other who give our best on every game so we will give our best and we will see after 90 minutes where are we. Fantastic. I'll just bring Jonathan in now at, um, on that one and I'll come back to you in a second, Igor. The season hasn't particularly... I mean, we had last season where I think you'd have won the league and then COVID came in yeah. and sort of destroyed everything. Yeah. Changed manager halfway through the season, which never really helps at all. New managers come in. It means he's got to get over his way of playing and things. So the season sort of slowed up for you. But yeah. this is a big club. It it, is. With a lot, a, a big uh, supporter base, yeah. and it's the oldest club on the island. Absolutely right. Oh so, yeah. So you know, you you know, coming into this game, I mean, even uh, with a, I don't say a poor season, things happen like this, but it's a big chance to give the supporters back something. Now, I mean, if you can win a trophy they at the it. end, yeah, they deserve it. They deserve. It. Everyone deserve it. Absolutely. They've been working so hard for it, John. You, you just give your all. Things come bad. You keep on trying, keep on trying, keep on coming back, but yeah, what to say. How long have you supported the club? Oh, since I was a kid. Yeah, but it's my third season here. Uh, yeah, I, I, I love the club. I do anything for the club. I, I'm the first one here, last one here. You even do yeah. interviews when you don't want oh to. Oh my gosh, <laughs> yes. Uh, that, that leads me to another question before I go back to you again, Jonathan. Is it, um, is it, is it, because you come from the village, you support it, or is it like father takes you to your first game and your father supported your grandfather? Is, is that the history? Yeah, I think it, it is. It, it is part of the history, yes. Mm. Speaking t towards me, I'm, I was born in Australia, so it wasn't like we were born here, but I was always br brought up here and uh, I saw the club. I was like, wow, look at this. I always see the club growing, growing, players coming in, players going out. I was like, yeah, I want to be part of this. I want to be part of this. Football is my life. I used to play. As, I used to be a footballer as well. I used to be a striker. Whoa! <laughs> not, not today. Really? Not I was just going to say. Not to, not I was just going to say before you got pregnant. Oh, oh, oh thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so childhood you, dream. So it's in your blood. Yeah. Childhood dream. Right. Just going to go back, Ego, just uh, quickly now. Talking on sort of footballing terms. Um, if we take away the politics of, uh, which I hate to talk about when it comes to football, if we take away the politics about money, about uh, what you can afford and what you can't afford, because because the league, uh, you know, since since I come into to, to the Gozo Football League, I've bec I've really enjoyed my time. I love the league. I love it because 
80% of the players go to work in the daytime. Pero, they they, they then come, they, they give their all, they play football. Pero, Whereas, you know, obviously uh, the higher leagues in the UK or around the world, you know, they have these, I don't know, 300,000 euros a minute. It's a whole different ball game. So I, I all of a sudden got a lot of passion for the football. We have this divide now, of course, where Nador are way above. Yes, they have a great uh, sponsor, they have the money to pay the wages and things like that. Where they are at the moment, do you think that Al Sulem now have to invest and to, 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 to get Nodor back to a, a level playing field? I understand your question, but um, first about when you mentioned politics. I mean, poly it's really, really difficult to separate now politics uh, with sport because it's very connected. You know, and um, as you say, Gozo First Division League, we have excellent group of players. There are excellent players who deserve to play, play on much higher level. Mm. But you know, it's not about ICLM or Nadur or Hotspurs or, or any other club. It's JFA, Gozo Fe Feder Football. Football Association job to do better job. I mean, they are doing solid job, but I think first we need to start from the top then we need to uh, gozo fa needs to make like meeting with the clubs to organize everything and to see where is our future right i think if we organize good we can go in the good direction fantastic that you know that that's a really good insight because i, I was going to come up to that a little bit later on but i can i can cover it now um if if you if i said ego i'm going to give you one chance to change one rule in the GF or in, in, in our setup, what would be that one thing that you would want to change to make to make football on the island better? I can tell you not one thing, I can mention a lot of things, <laughs> but I don't want to mention these things because it's not my job, of really. Course. My job is to come to train, to give my best, to talk on the pitch, you know, that is my job. My job is not to come in the locker room and tell coach what to do, tell president how to manage the things in the club, you know, I'm only the player. You know, I don't want to get involved in those things. But you do know that some things need to change. I know there, is, there are a lot of things that need to be changed. We do as well. Trust me, I mean, we do as well. I mean, you know, what, you know, what we're doing and what we're trying to change and what we're trying to bring to Gozo for many different reasons, you know, because we love the island, because we, you know, we love what's going on. We love amateur football, but sometimes it could be made a lot easier for us as well. So I do know, I know where you're coming from. I must tell you that you guys especially are doing a wonderful job. Three years ago, when I arrived to play this league, we didn't have commentators. No, no, no. We didn't have live streams no, at all, you know? So guys, you are doing an amazing job. That's very, very kind of you. Thank Even you. for you guys behind the camera. <laughs> I couldn't function without those guys, trust me. They allow me to have a beer and they, they watch my back. <laughs> Just throw a quick question. Jonathan, what about you? If I, if I said to you, is there something that you, you, you would like one rule to, 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 to change to make it an evil playing field? Do you have any? I think it, it would be, if I was in charge, I would say, listen, you have a budget. You cannot jump that budget. It's got to be an even budget yes, for all teams. Yes, an even teams. budget for all teams. I reckon it would be fair enough. Because, it, let's put an example, a small example. If we bring a player here that costs, let's say, a thousand euros a month, who has a bigger investor, who's going to bring a four thousand a month player, it, it, you, 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 can't, you can't compete with them. It's, no. it's, it's a huge difference. It, it, it's very similar with the fair play rules that they have, like for example, in the Premier League. If you spend that much, you know, because obviously maybe there, I'm there wrong as well, balance. John. Maybe I'm wrong as well, but it, it's a great point to bring up, though. You know, it's a great. I mean, we, we are gonna we, we are going soon now into the GFA annual meeting. All the clubs are going to come in and they're going to vote on again how many foreigners each team is. All right. You know, I mean, since I've been here, it was four, then it was two, then it's I four. I remember. True. You know. True. It's, you know. So. Listen, John, when, when you put in more foreigners in the team, the level of football, it goes higher. Of course it does. So they, they help us. We don't have foreigners, we don't win leagues, we don't win games. They, they, they help, they help. And so, OK, we have good Gosden players, but if you don't bring a good solid for, foreigner, yeah, you know, you're but, not but My point being, uh, um, Jonathan Igor, is that if you bring in good players that are foreign, they help the local players to become better to because become you're, playing better. With, yes, sure. you're playing with better for players sure. Sure. so you must yes. develop yes. exactly as exactly. opposed to oh you took my place i mean i don't think it should be like that i, th I think it helps 
Yeah. Exactly, it's like in kitchen. If you are working with some chef who is making good uh, food, yes. you are learn yeah, from you him. Learn from you will learn from fantastic. Yeah. Make exactly. better food. Yeah. You don't make cheese sandwiches no, anymore. No. You make something different. Yeah. Exactly, it's a good point. So let's just very quickly talk on uh, before we let you guys go. Um, BOV Cup final. It's the big one of the season now. Um, you can say it's been a disappointing season, or you've, you've had to go through a lot of changes this season. So let's not say disappointed, but this is now a great chance now to to give the supporters something, give the players something for all your efforts. You are the only team that beat the door this season, and you did it in in an emphatic way. The only and team to beat. Exactly, it's yes. the only game they've lost. Yes. And I know by commentating, an unformed ego is going to disrupt oh, yes. you know, any any good defence. <laughs> we know that. Let's not put the pressure on you. We no also, pressure, no pressure. But we bro. also know that um, a Johnny inside the box yes, can, can also put yes. them away. So, yes, why not? so going into this, I mean, do you have the belief that in, in a one-off game again that you can pull this off? Let me tell you something. Uh, when we speak about the disappointing season, you mentioned it a few times. I don't think that it was the most disappointing season for us. Me I mean, we are, comp we are competing against, I want seconds. to be honest, against better teams. Yes. Who is one level fair above enough. us. Fair you enough, know, yeah. that's fair enough to fair say. Enough. You know? Absolutely. Fair enough. So, um, I'm not disappointed even if you are going to lose, but um, I must tell you that we believe. First of all, me, as a captain, I was captain a few games, I believe in win. I mean, we are going to go that game in a pitch, give our best 90, 95 minutes how much we play, and so at the end the, of the game, we will see the result, what exactly, it is. Exactly. You know, maybe I said it wrong. When I say disappointing season, I don't mean it in that in that sense because um, you finish second. Second. Both. You get into two cup finals. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, you know, you're the only team to be to beat the champions, so it's not disappointing in that way. Maybe just that um, when I when I use the word disappointing, I think from last season when pretty much the league was taken away from you. I think you were going to win it that. Was, it was robbed from us. It was robbed from us. It, 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 yeah, it was. whatever take word, easy, whatever word <laughs> you're going to get back from the ground. Series. I know, maybe. But, but that's passion and you're allowed to say things, you're allowed to say things like that. I, you know, so, and, and then, you know, we were, we were probably all expecting um, the same again. They brought in an amazing coach. They they brought in Branko, who who completely transformed the way they play. You know, he obviously went off. Uh, Paul has carried on. You know, doing a great job. Uh, my my biggest fear is look look we we we've got we've got the, Kirchum have had a fantastic season. We know that they can only improve based on their budget, based on what they can do. It's a slow process True. for them, and True. I think they've had a great season. True. We then go sort of down, but but the teams like. Sanat and Oratory, even Victoria to a point, for them to 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 catch up to a team where Nador at the moment is, is a big ask. It's very difficult. Yeah. There comes the motivation as as a coach, as a player, when you start your new season, going to a new season, the motivation already is pretty tough. You go out there because you love football. That's what you do, and you play your football and you do the best you can. But looking to to maybe pick up a trophy sometimes. It, it, it's hard and there's the, there's the imbalance in the league would you agree i agree you know but uh, again it's not about us i mean i cannot uh, put myself in a skin of uh, sanat president or oratory president of course. i don't know how they are thinking of course what their budget is you know i'm only concentrated on on the club where i am at this moment and like i said we have 90 minutes still till the end of the season absolutely and a great day out yes we will see what will happen. I'm going to leave you soon, but I've got one last question for you. Um, ju just, just I want to throw this one at you. Just coming away a little bit from 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 the team aspect, but again, concentrate a little bit on the fall. It's been quite disappointing this season. From uh, since the COVID, the stadium's empty. We're not getting now. I also understand that maybe El Cielo, you know, the supporters from El Cielo, for example, the league's already won. What's the motivation? I mean, it, it's very difficult, isn't it? You know, I, I also feel that I'm going to be outspoken now, so I'm going to be on the same level as you because I can get in a bit of trouble here as well. But I, I remember just going back some weeks ago when we had the semi finals, it was a night game. The lights don't come on in the ground till five minutes before. There's no music playing in the ground. There's no, no they open, they open no the gates for five minutes for the supporters. So, they, you know, and I, and I try to, to say to the GFA, if you want supporters to come back, you've got to, you've got to make it more exciting. You have to, you know, because 
you know, five minutes to come before a game. Uh, I mean, you ask a question and in the same time you answer the question. <laughs> oh, it did, it did, it did, it did. Like I said, Would it's a GFA agree? job. They, they need to make uh, fans more interesting to come. Maybe uh, maybe the people are afraid still because of COVID. I don't know, maybe they are scared for Could a group be. of people. Could be. And also, when I mention a guy in fan, I don't like those fans because you know when we are starting the season, the expectations were high. High, very high. Very you high know, of last year. it happened. We lose the game against Senat. We start on a good roll, man. We win seven games in a row, and then and it happened. It happened. Senat game. We lose that game. Next game, Nobody we had said. we had five five fans <laughs> on on our stadium. Are you hoping that they're going to come on Sunday? We, we need the band. We need the supporters. It makes a whole difference to the players, doesn't it? This is my opportunity to, to call every single person from my ceiling to come and support our on the day. Yes. Guys, yeah. listen, you've yeah. been amazing. I, I really uh, thank you so much for joining us. Jonathan, I know you went over to Hope, but you've I done was a great a bit job. Nervous, yeah. No, no, it's all good. You, know, you talk with passion, you talk with your heart, thank and you. so do you. And I love it when you're outspoken and you say what you mean to say. Igo, you've had a great season. Uh, you, are, you will finish uh, second uh, leading goal scorer, yeah. of course. Uh, you've had another great season. Uh, we wish you well on the cup final. We'll be there to cover it as always. And again, I know you just finished training. Thanks for taking time out for joining us. And we wish you from our heart all the best. Thank you, John. On Sunday. Thank you a lot. Thank you, John. And thank you so thank much you. for joining. Igor, thank you. Thank you for Thanks, coming. John. Thank you. Thanks.